Hi there you, my beading friends, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful netty flowers earrings only out of seed beads. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Why I call them native flowers? Because they look like flowers, but they also look a little bit like a spider net. That is why I call them this way. Tell me in the comments which is the best way to call them according to you. But anyways, if you're new here, consider subscribing because I make new content twice a week and you will be inspired often and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro because I have timestamps and go to the work itself, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 10 o seed beads or you could use 11 o seed beads if you want as long as the two colors are one and the same size. Here I'm using black seed beads and these are really light peachy color seed beads and uh, you could use whites if you want or other light color instead. And here I'm using earring findings in silver color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. Uh, don't use a really soft nylon thread for this project. It's better to use monofilament or fireline. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now guys, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 black beads. Okay, and I have 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And now I'm going to make a knot and how I do this, I take my tail thread and I go twice through the loop that I have here and I pull gently. Then I make one more knot. Make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull. And this is called half hitch knot or surgeon's knot. And then I go through some beads in this direction. And when I pull, I have this beautiful circle of beads. And now I'm going to take five light beads. Okay, five of them. And as I'm exiting here through this black bead, I'm skipping the next one and I'm going through the following. And I pull. Then again, I'm going to take five beads. Okay, I have five. I skip the next bead that's on my way and I go through the following. And again, five. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. And I'm halfway done with this row and I will show you faster how I do the other part. If it's too fast for you, rewind the video and see how I'm doing the first part or just slow down the video. Okay. 
okay and don't worry that these beads move around we'll fix this in the next row now what i want to do is go through these two light beads and i want to go through this bead that is sticking out the most then i'm going to pick up five black beads okay i have five and as i'm exiting through this bead that's sticking out the most i'm going through the other one that is sticking out and then again five and again here and five okay and i will continue this three more times okay and now i went through this uh, bit that is sticking out the most also through the following black and i want to go through two more black beads so i am three black beads away from here one two three i'm exiting out of the third one and i'm going to take one light bead one black bead and one light bead okay this is what i have and i'm going back in circle through this bit here that i'm exiting out of you see i'm exiting here going back here in circle and pull and now you see what i have i have something like a loop between this bead black bead here and these three beads and when i pull i have this then i will continue this going through the next two black beads and the light one and then again through three black beads three of my five that i have here so this means i'm exiting through the middle one and i take one light one black one white and i go back through this one here in circle like I did in my previous step and still I have a loop here you see and then I will go through these two blacks through the light and then through three more black beads you see two blacks one light and three blacks because I want to exit at the same place as here and here and now I will do the same thing And just to save time, I'm going through all of those beads in one movement. Through this black that I'm exiting here from, through the next two, through the light, and through the next three. Okay. Now I have this. And I'm going to continue this until the end. okay guys now i have this and in my next step i'm going through this light bead in this direction you see where i'm exiting out of this light bead here is my thread and i'm going to pick up seven light beads okay i have here my seven beads and then i'm going in the next light bead and you could also go through the black in one movement if you can okay now i have this then i go through the light from the inner side to the outside and i'm going to take seven seven 
and as I'm exiting through this slide bead I'm going through the next one and through the black after that okay I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end seven okay continue doing this guys three more times and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last seven beads from this row and now what i'm going to do is that i go as i'm exiting here you see through this white bead i will go through the next white and through the one after that okay you see where i'm exiting now i'm exiting through two white beads in this direction and i'm going to take two white beads light or white beads depend what you use two blacks and two light beads okay this is what i have and now what i do is that i go through these two light beads in this direction and i pull okay then i will go through all of the beads here and i want to reach the next point here i'm also going through two beads like i did before and i'm taking two light beads two black beads and two light beads this is what i have and here I also go through two beads. Okay, like this, then backwards through all of those beads to reach the next point where I will make the same element. Okay, I want to reach these two beads here, exit out of them. And I want to repeat these two lights, one black and two light beads. And go back like this. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this here, here and here. And I'll meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, you could always rewind the video. See what I do and repeat it from this side. Okay, see you in a while okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead uh, my last loop of beads in this row okay and now what i want to do is go through these two beads then through the two beads after that like this and now i'm going to take nine of these beautiful light beads okay i have nine here and as i'm exiting here through these beads i'm going in absolutely the same place here through these beads and when i pull i have this beautiful arc of beads and now again i go first through two beads then through the following two beads after that and i'm going to take nine beads okay nine and i'm going in the same place here and if you can in one movement through four beads just like this OK, 
okay now I have this and then again I go through four beads here it's easier for me to go through two and then through the other two and then I'm going to take another nine beads I go here and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and these are the last nine beads that I'm adding here in this row and when I pull you see what I have. By the way if you think that the whole earring is too big let's say if you think uh, this one is too big for an earring you could definitely stop up to here uh, make this an earring and you could do a matching pendant so here you should put a pendant holder and a chain and here you could put earring finding and make a matching set this is just an idea but now i will show you how to turn this into this one okay what i'm going to do in my next step i'm going through all of those beads in this direction so now i'm going through one two three four five light beads or through the first light after the blacks sorry it was not visible i'm going through five beads or through the first light after the black okay this is what i have and now i'm going to take two light beads three dark beads and two light beads okay this is what i have and now as i'm exiting here through this bead i'm exiting out of this bead if you don't see my thread here it is and I'm going in the same place in this light bead and I go like this in this direction okay and I pull and I'm making a similar thing like I did here but now with three black beads instead of just two beads okay then I go through the black bead and then I go through this white bead like this and through all of the beads in this direction except for the last two okay here is where I'm exiting now I will go through all of those beads then here through all of those beads then through this light bead then through the black bead and in this direction through this light through the next three and through the following okay and I'm showing again I need three uh, sorry two light beads three black beads and two light beads okay this is what I have and I go like this in this direction then like this through the black then through this one and exiting here and i'll show you one more time and let you do this 
steps until the end. If you don't understand how I do something, you could always rewind to a step where I'm showing it and just repeat it from there. Okay, and I take the same sequence like I did before. Okay, guys, and I'm going to repeat this until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. I'm doing it just like I did before. And what I want to do is exit here at this bit. And now I will show you the last row. By the way, you could expand this row as much as you like. Each row comes with two more seed beads. And each splitter uh, comes with one more bead. Okay, so now I'm going to take 11 seed beads. Okay, I have 11. 9 plus 2, it's 11. Okay, and I'm going in the same place here. Okay, like this. Okay, then I go through these two black beads in this direction. Then here through these beads. And also through the following two. And again, guys, what I'm going to take here are 11 seed beads. Eleven. Okay, and I go here in this direction. I go through these two. Then in this direction in order to exit here at this bit. And 11 again and I will continue adding 11 until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last 11 beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go in this direction and reach to the place where I'm going to add my earring finding. Okay, I go like this. By the way, if you think your work needs reinforcement, you could definitely go around the edges and reinforce it. Okay, now I'm exiting here. And I want to exit through the middle of these three uh, black beads. You see, uh, my thread is exiting out of this bead. If you don't see it, it's here. So I went through this one and this one through two black beads in this direction. And now I'm going to take my earring finding. And I'm taking one seed bead. My earring finding. and one seed bead like this and I go back through this bead that I'm exiting out of in circle and now I'm going to reinforce this joint
Okay, now I'm here and I want to go through some beads in this direction. Okay. And here, guys, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I'm making my knot, I make here a loop and I go once. Then I go second time through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times, but when you're ready, go through the following one or two beads. And after that, cut your thread. Never cut next to a knot. Okay, guys, and now my earring is ready. Okay, guys, so those were my netty flowers. If you like them, Please like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. As you know, down there in the description, you will find links to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you will also find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And you will find my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me